Hi, welcome to another installment of Oko DBA Tutor. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the uh, the over one two five four seven error. Um, basically, that's when basically well, that's when the Oko user has what has is overprivileged in terms of um, his access. And I think that basically what happens is that um, I wasn't too sure why why I keep doing it, but um, I was able, like when I was um, um, showing you guys the previous um, the, how to use the right command before. I was like, I kept logging into the Oracle, um, into Oracle by accident. I wasn't too sure what was going on, so I think this is a um, this is part of the problem. Like you can you can do that, um, and and eventually that's gonna that's gonna block the access that you have to to the Oracle um, to, to to the Oracle software. So. The way that you resolve that is you um so I try to log in and this is the error that I have DNS log contacts. First thing you do is you have to type in CD home bin or go home bin. You type that in, it's gonna it's gonna um direct you into the um into the bin file into the bin directory. And then from that point you type you type in ls ltr oracle. And then it's going to show you uh, the different permissions that you have um, as an Oracle user. Um, so I gave myself 777 because I am um, like I thought I, I anticipated that I'll be making a lot of changes, but apparently the, the downside is that pretty much <laughs> just about anyone has access to um, to that software. So you definitely want to do that. Um, so what I did is I um. The way to resolve that is to you have to modify the permission set again, and I came across a um, a, a um, sort of a, a sort of a, a blog, um, and basically you just the person just showed you you know um, that the best permission set for Oracle is is uh, the six seven five one permission set, so that's what I um, changed my permission set to um, sudo h mod uh, for for the Oracle user, and then once I did that, I ran the ls ltr Oracle, and then from the read and write and execute for just about any user group, I've changed that to um, pretty much just you know I just limited the access to the um, um, for the Oracle user, and. The, and basically, once you do that, you've uh, resolved the issue. And so now, um, I'm actually able to log in to my Oracle software. Um, so this is it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time.